<laughs> so it's another month and another steam sale if you use pc then you most likely use steam and you probably know about the lunar sale that just went down for 2020 a lot of great games were on sale uh no man's sky i really want to try what else was there there was plague inc which is probably now is probably the worst time for it to go on sale but monster hunter worlds uh, Sid Meier's Civilization, like a whole bunch of really good games were on sale, and I didn't get to try all of them, but I mean, if, if Fallout 4 is 10 bucks, I mean, that's... However, I definitely didn't skimp out on some of the deals, and I purchased some games that I was surprised that I haven't actually played before, and one of those games is Max Payne 3. Now, I have not played Max Payne 1 or 2. I only played 3 because my friend used to keep mentioning Max Payne all the time and he was really into it. So I wanted to see what all this fuss was about. I wanted to see what it was like. And so I tried Max Payne 3 and my my god, it was like such a it was it was a really good game. The best way I can describe it to someone who has never played a Max Payne game is imagine I know, I know like fans of the series are not going to agree with this analogy, but imagine Imagine you're playing a John Wick movie. You can slow down time to get better shots. And I loved the whole style, like the whole comic book kind of feeling, which you'll see in the background. And honestly, for a game that was made in 2012, I think it holds up very well. Not just somewhat graphically, but also just gameplay wise. I was super into it. I haven't played Max Payne 1 or 2, but I will say that Rockstar nailed it out of the park with this one. Now, after looking up Max Payne a little bit, I discovered something somewhat interesting, and it's the idea of Max Payne coming to a completely different console, like something it's never been on before. There's a few forum posts going around about people debating whether Max Payne 3 or Max Payne 1 or 2 or just maybe like a collection of all three games should come to the Nintendo Switch. You know, that portable console? Yeah, you know. Most of the people who watch my content are into the Switch, so I just thought, why not? Let's take a look and see what's going on related to Max Payne coming to the Nintendo Switch. And well, there's not too much information confirming it, but there's a lot of reasons why Rockstar may want to consider it. And there's also a lot of reasons why Rockstar may want to not consider it, so let's talk about that. So first off, why would Max Payne not come to the Switch? Well, there's a couple of factors that would come into play. First of all, it's a relatively old game. It's about eight years old. It's coming up on its eighth year anniversary so yeah it's definitely not the most relevant game right now i'm sure that there's other games that rockstar would rather port and have a more of a priority to coming to the switch say for example a grand theft auto game whether it would be five or four or something like that another reason is actually control wise max Payne is a game that let's just say prefers to be played with the keyboard and mouse if you have a keyboard and mouse it is a lot easier to snipe someone in the forehead than from what I've read on controller and as a PC player I definitely well I I definitely agree with that I may have not played it on the console but I vastly prefer how keyboard and mouse works with a game like Max Payne and well the switch's controls are not exactly ideal for a game that prefers PC it can work it wouldn't be ideal but it could work I think the controls would have to take a lot of tweaking and a lot of careful design choices because and in a game like this controls are everything and if you get shot and you have to take an extra painkiller maybe you won't actually be able to finish level or I mean not level that sounds like a epic gamer word I mean chapter but do people actually want Max Payne to come to Switch because that would obviously be the biggest factor for Rockstar putting the game on a Nintendo console and well the general consensus is mixed to lukewarm Generally, people think that it would be a cool idea, but it would have to have, say, the controls right, and also, pricing would have to be done right. See, if Rockstar launched this game at anything more than $30, and then I feel like a lot of people would be turned off by it. Especially considering that the game isn't, it's not incredibly short. I was still satisfied with the amount of the campaign I was able to play, but it's definitely not an incredibly long game either. And I feel like for a game that's this old, anything over $30 is, yeah. Uh, nah. Now, maybe if they were to do a remaster or something like that, and like release it on all consoles and PC, then I could see that being bumped up a couple bucks, but 
I don't know. Personally, I think that if it were to come to the Switch, it would probably be around the price it is on Steam right now. Or maybe like a little bit more to countering the fact that, you know, cartridges are a thing. So, what are the reasons why Max Payne would come to the Switch? Well, there's actually, I feel like, a lot of strong opinions on this. A lot of people think that some of the best reasons for Max Payne to come to the Switch is that this would be the first time anyone who is solely played on a Nintendo console would have the chance to play a Max Payne game. And Nintendo got rid of their whole thing where they only want, you know, quote-unquote kid-friendly content. So, I mean, it's got a chance, man. It's That's not completely out of the picture. It's not completely out of the picture what Nintendo would allow and what they wouldn't allow. And Max Payne isn't the most family-friendly game, but still, I feel like Nintendo would still allow it. Not only that, but Rockstar has ported older games to the Switch. However, they did it in more of like a remastered sort of way with L.A. Noir. If you remember that game, it was made by Rockstar, and it was basically a like detective game sort of. I never got the chance to play it, but it was on sale during the Steam sale, so I guess I missed out on that. And the final reason, to be totally honest, is just that Rockstar would be putting a game that is Max Payne on a portable console. Need I say more? That that would be that would be truly an epic moment. When you think about playing a game like that on the go wherever you are, that's that's a pretty decent idea. And I'd be hella into that if they were to port that over. And I think a lot of people would also be into that. Of course, like I said, it would have to depend on a lot of factors, but if they nailed it right, and I feel like they could, it could be it could be a hit. I am on a little bit of a max pain high right now after just beating maybe about like 30 hours ago max pain 3, but wow. Oh, I uh yeah, I would I would dig that I would dig that playing that anywhere I am when I'm on a road trip, when I'm on a plane. Yeah, that'd be cool. But well, what is the news about Max Payne 3? Well, as of right now, not too much. Rockstar Vancouver, which by the way, Canadians awesome. I'm a Canadian, so yeah, more more Canadian studios, please. Max Payne 3 was mostly developed by Rockstar Vancouver, and Rockstar Vancouver doesn't exist anymore. They've been merged into Rockstar Toronto. However, there is also a silver lining to that. On the opposite coin, Rockstar Toronto is mostly a porting house now. So any Rockstar game that wants to be ported, a lot of times it goes to the team at Rockstar Toronto. So maybe Rockstar Toronto could use whatever employees they have left that worked on Max Payne 3 and just put it over on the Switch. Who knows? You know, as for official news, there has been little to nothing, unfortunately. In fact, actually, now that I think about it, since Max Payne 3 hasn't come to something like the Epic Games Store, I would not be surprised if we wouldn't be seeing it being ported anytime soon. But it's definitely not out of the picture. Still possible. That's all I need, just that it's possible. That one day it may be possible. Hopefully it does come, but if it doesn't, well, what can you do? But anyway, what do you think about Max Payne 3 coming to the Switch, or any Max Payne game? And is Max Payne 3 your favorite Max Payne game? I want to know your opinion on that i hope you enjoyed i noticed most of y'all are not subscribed so if you want to you know do that do a cool little favor and just subscribe that'd be that'd be great if not then well okay it's your choice hope you enjoyed and as always see ya